Hey guys and welcome to this Design Zone tutorial. Today I'm going to be making a uh, Madden 10 custom cover and also you can uh, use these tips and techniques to uh, make an NCAA cover or pretty much any other game out there or DVD. Um, here we go. I've already got everything loaded up. I'm going to uh, use this Chris Johnson picture here. Um, Things go a lot easier if you find a really big picture. I just went to a Google, did a Google search on Chris Johnson, and um, pulled this one up. It was probably the best one that I could find. And then uh, I've got this template here, downloaded from um, this website here. Here's the link. I'll also uh, include that in the sidebar and add an annotation. For you guys to follow this take you to this website and it'll give you this download you'll hit free download right here and it'll take you here you hit download file wait 25 seconds or whatever enter the code and download the file and once you got it it'll give you a uh, package of three templates it'll give you a PSP template this PS3 template and also the uh, Xbox 360 template. Um, I have a PS3 so obviously I'm going to be making the PS3 version. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to uh, cut Chris Johnson out of this picture first of all. You're going to come over here to uh, this magnetic lasso tool. If you don't have that there loaded, uh, right click and you can uh, see the options here and go to magnetic lasso. Uh, here are my settings. I found these work the best. Got the feather at zero, width five, contrast five, frequency at 100. And what you do is you find just find a start a starting starting point. Sorry, and then you uh, click. Oh, I messed up already. I will uh, deselect that. Helps if you expand the picture. Maybe zoom in, not too much. You, uh, you want to make sure your whole picture is on the screen. I'll go to fit on screen. All right, find a starting point and just kind of uh, you click once and then drag, and you want to stay on the outside edge. You, I'm not holding the button now. I'm just dragging it. And as you can see, it kind of grabs what it thinks it's cutting out, leaves out the background. It's pretty simple, easy tool, easy way to cut things rather than going through the whole process of erasing and that whole deal. That's the way I used to do things, but found this tool pretty helpful. And just kind of go all the way around. It's okay if you're not perfect. You can always start over. Um, I think I messed up on the helmet, but we'll see how things turn out. And this is pretty much the uh, hard part. Just making sure this thing turns out the way you want it. Down here towards the legs, you're not going to see much of that. I don't even know. We'll include that. But uh, we'll go ahead and leave that in there anyways. And just keep going all the way around. Let the computer do the work for you. And usually around this hair here, it's hard for them to uh, notice. But uh, there we go. And once you get to the end, you'll click again, and now you can see it's kind of uh, gone through here and picked out uh, what you uh, outlined. If you right click and hit layer via cut, that cut that layer out. And I've got my layer here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the background. And 
drag Chris Johnson over here. As you can see, this template's huge. So I'm going to hold shift. and make Chris Johnson a little bigger and click here to apply the transformation go ahead and get rid of this for now and it looks like we're gonna have to bring Chris Johnson over top of the stadium layer Let's see here now we need to do something about this big black hole this is actually made, uh, this is a mask here made for your uh, stadium and there's uh, instructions in the package of templates and it explains you how to explains how to uh, put that on here but I'm going to show you okay you need to go on uh, you first you need to find a picture of your stadium and I've already done that I've actually got this uh, picture right here and it's just Tennessee Titan Stadium. I'm going to go ahead and drag that over here and minimize that. And oops. All right. And now we we need to go over here to this uh, layer and drag it down so it's drag it down so it's just above the mask and then resize it. So you hold down shift so it keeps its proportions and drag it just so it uh, it's good size to cover up, up that mask and what I'm gonna do is rotate it. I'm gonna come down here to this corner and just click and drag just kinda rotate it to that angle and then when you got it to where you want it uh, come over here and apply the transition and then what you're gonna do is go over to this layer right click and hit create clipping mask and this is why it needs to be your uh, stadium mask layer needs to be right underneath your picture image and as you can see I need to raise it a little bit just uh, hit the up button and there we go now we've got a, a nice stadium in the background and we need to change these uh, colors up a little bit so I'm going to first I'm going to go into uh, image adjustments and I'm going to desaturate this kind of give it a black and white the black and white feel and then uh, I'm going to add a fill layer so I'm going to right click blending options and I'm just going to give it a uh, gradient overlay and go into your gradient options give it a uh, blue gonna pull this color out of here and then maybe a dark blue those are seems to be those two colors of the team. Hit OK. Hit OK. Change these uh, up a little bit. When you get when you got them where you want them, hit uh, for the style here. Oh, I'm sorry, your uh, blend mode. Choose color, and that'll give it a little blue tint to it. And hit OK. All right. Now once we've got our stadium how we like it and colored, now we're ready for the fun part come over here to your players layer so here. and then you're gonna pick and choose different colors out of the uniform I'll go with that, hit OK and if you don't have these brushes yet go ahead and uh, go into that instruction manual now uh, it'll show you where to get them and how to load them in I've already done that um, I've got these uh, splatter brushes here. Go ahead and pick some uh, different splatter brushes and just kind of make it so the paint just shoots out of your, your uniforms. That's not a good one, but just mess around with it. Alright, once you've got your uh, splatters the way, you, the way you like it, then that's pretty much it. Uh, you're ready to save it out and use this uh, cover for yourself. Um, good luck to you guys gaming, good luck to your covers, and uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure you subscribe, come back to see all my uh, future tutorials, and hopefully we can uh, help you out some more.